so hello everyone welcome to my channel and as usual here is another video and in today's video i want us to talk on how and when to submit the documents that is when you are done with the ds260 there will be a message for you to submit the documents we are going to talk about when and how so if you are new to this channel guys remember to subscribe hit that notification bell so that you can be updated or you can be notified every time we make an upload we always make uploads on a daily basis and also remember to follow us on facebook page that is the 2021 divi rotary updates and without much ado guys let's start our video right now To start with, I'd like to address a question that was on the comment section on the previous video. The question was reading that whether the selection process takes place like depending on the date you made your application. That is, the area you applied, whether you are you might get an early or lower case number. The answer is no. The selection process is done after every okay every entry is received when you make uh, your application and your friends and all all people worldwide make their applications they are all first received then placed in one area or one section then after that now the selection process is done and you know it's a random process so it's a matter of being lucky or not so the answer is not it does not depend whether you apply earlier or late so it's just equal chances whether you applied earlier or late so Let's focus on our video today. Today we are going to focus about the document, sending the document. That is, when you are done with the firing, okay, firing the DS260 and you send, then you relax or you maybe go get your documents, prepare your documents. So, when and how do you know the right time to submit the documents? So, to start with, you are done with the sending, you send the DS260, it's gone. One thing you should do now, you should be focusing on the documents you are requested. You should, okay, they will send you an email after like three to four months and they will be asking about some documents. And let me give you a highlight of some documents they will be requesting for. One, passport, that is the biography. You scan the biography page. That is the page with your photo and name and all that stuff. You scan that page. The second one is about the education level. That is, if you stated that you qualify by education, you have to provide... You have to scan your certificate that is for your highest level of education or whatever you included in the ds260 you have to scan your certificate that is the high school certificate or diploma certificate degree certificate all that the next one is about the police certificate the police certificate you have to provide for each country you ever traveled to when you are at age of 16 and above i hope that is clear any country that you have lived whether it's your current country or home country or foreign country but you are there since you are 16 years and above the next one the the next one is about for you know for some people who are married you have extra documents they have to submit the marriage certificate and all that then if you had uh, several marriages you had like previous marriage you still have to submit the termination certificate of the previous marriage the other one is like if you are married but your spouse something happened he, the death issue you have to still submit the death certificate and in case you are arrested in any country whichever age at whatever age or whatever reason you have been arrested you know for any criminal offense or something like that you are still requested to submit the court you know court records for that case you are whatever whatever happened you have to submit the court records for that matter so those are the documents that are requested so if you are there you are done with the ds260 proceed and get the documents and those documents applies to the applicant and still also to his or her beneficiaries so if you are a parent and you want the dv rotary prepare all those documents for yourself and your children and your partner so let's focus on when they are requested so one thing you have to understand sometimes they request okay every time they request the documents okay you will send them after they request the document they are the one as the nvc or the KCC, the department that uh, revised the ds260 they are the one to send you an email 
requesting the documents, highlighting everything you, they need from you for you to submit them. They will provide you with an email in which you will submit your documents through. In the criteria you have to follow that is the case number, name, and the name of the document and all that. So now when do they send you that? Okay, relatively, when do you think you'll expect your email? Okay, document email. So sometimes the some years back they have been using uh, the criteria of the case number. So the lower the case number, the earlier the may email will come. That is, for some people who are you know, eventually or every time they start revising the DS to sixty according to the case number. So if your case number is over ten thousand or something higher than that. You don't expect them to revise your DS to 60 now. And that's why I tell you people, if your case number is high, take your time. Don't rush to send the DS to 60. They will not revise it now. So to, that is why I mean, if your case number is low, of course, you expect your request for the documents email to come earlier. But last year, that is the, for the DV Rotary 2020 program, they went ahead and sent like everybody at the same time depending on the they never bothered to depend on the case number they just sent to everybody but eventually when they are doing the revision they will still start on the lower case number way up to the higher case numbers so most likely it starts like after two months or three months so for the other months you know the results are always out on may so two months from may is june july around august I hope you are clear to that. So for this year, the results are out on June. So you can add two to three months. That's around October and there. So most likely or September or August, you can expect the documents email to come through by August, September, October from there. I am not sure whether they will send again to everyone at the same time or they will send it according to the case number. But even if they send according to case number, you see it for the area case numbers, the area the email will come back. The higher case number, the same will apply. But even if some anything of that happens, be ready with your documents as fast as you can. So for now, for the like first first two months, they will be asking nothing from you. So you have time, go correct the documents, don't be in a hurry, relax, make sure that your documents are well dated, like the marriage certificate. They will be checking mostly on the dates, even the passport and all that. Your birth certificate, all those things, they will be requested. Make sure that they are there, available and well dated. So for those people who are asking like when to expect, we can't speculate the actual date for you to expect the email. But we can roughly tell it's like from two months from now. They will start receiving, I really suspect they will still start again by the lower case number going way up. Because, you know, the lower the case number, the area they are being scheduled for the interview. And the lower the case number, the area the revision of the DS to 60 is done. I hope up to that point we are clear. So if you are there and you are wondering when you will be requested for the document. And at the same time, in case they send the documents, okay, they are like, they send the documents email for everyone you know the email is okay the internet system sometimes goes through to some parts and all that stuff so it might be a drain on your region and you hear some friends in some place already maybe a, a higher case number received an email requesting documents but your case number is slow and still you never have received your email document or you know the documents email you can still go ahead. If you run that, that your case number or somebody around your case number is already have been asked to send the documents, you can still also submit the documents. There is no problem with that. Submitting it earlier or late. Okay, if you submit late, you make your case number or your interview date to be scheduled on a late date. But submitting it on an earlier, it's better but it does, has no advantage you know you even if you submit earlier it doesn't mean that you'll be interviewed earlier you must have to wait your case to be current so i may i hope i'm making some sense and for that matter 
thank you for watching this video uh, if you have more question about this please drop it on the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you out at my level best thank you for watching see you in our next video